Good Saturday. I thought I would do a show and tell. A little bit of a show and tell. A couple of things I've had for a while. A couple of things I just picked up last week. Cheers. It's the last of the wine, sadly. Whew. I'm almost out of wine. So I haven't had sushi since the pandemic started. I am a sushi addict. I picked these up at Goodwill about a week or two ago. Brand new, they had the stickers on the back. Signature Houseware Incorporated. I think they were like $1.99 each. I thought this place would be perfect if you get takeout sushi. How cool is that? They're really pretty. So if I get some takeout sushi, we can have sushi on these. And a couple weeks ago on eBay, they were selling this, these measuring cups and measuring spoons. Stainless steel by Chef's Catalog. If you don't know, Chef's Catalog is out of business. I think they tried to come back. I can't find their website now. I, I think they did have their website back up, but they had a store in Colorado for years, like since the 70s. And I discovered them right before they closed. And I bought a whole bunch of tri-ply cookware and some nonstick pans, which are really good. Some of the best nonstick pans I've ever owned. And somebody was selling these on eBay. Usually when you look at measuring spoons, you get at most six. You get a group of six or four. I think I have nine here. One sixteenth of a teaspoon. One eighth of a teaspoon, one quarter of a teaspoon, a half of a teaspoon, two thirds, two thirds of a teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons. I really like these. These, I consider these better than the measuring cups. They just, the handles seem to be thicker. Really nice. I was, I was excited. This was a combo deal on eBay. I think I paid $28 shipped. And if you go on Amazon and you look up stainless steel pieces, you know, you might spend $24, $25. Not, not, not for these, this, <laughs> I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Okay. And the measuring cups, I think there are like eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one of these, one eighth of a cup. And it says inside, standard coffee measure. I didn't have a coffee measurer. You may have seen me use this. Now these handles aren't quite as thick as the measuring spoons, but they're all very nice. I'm, I'm very happy with these. these. These were fun. I picked this baby up. You may have seen me use it in one of my cowboy coffee videos recently. It's a six cup. P104 Corningware coffee pot or teapot. Very good condition. Very shiny in there. $4.99. That was exciting. I've been looking at these on eBay. It's much smaller than I thought it would be. It's, it's not very big. It's, you know, the pictures on eBay, it looked a lot bigger than this. I love it. I'm not quite sure what to do with it yet. Cheers. It's Saturday. If you go by the Leclerc website, Visions Leclerc website, I believe this is a Leclerc saucepan, one liter. But this pan does not say Visions. It only says France. I looked up Corning France. I put France in quotes. It does not say Visions. It only says France. Now this kind of blows my mind and I'll tell you why in a second because we're rambling. According to the Leclerc website, oh, I'm almost out of wine. Leclerc came before the other saucepans that we're familiar with. There's something about that that's a little bit weird. Here is another one liter. This is what I thought was the first version. Visions. The lid is not high dome and it's smaller than the 
than the tr traditional one liter. It says one liter on the handle. This lid will not fit this. This is a one liter. This is a V1B. Much smaller gap. It's look look at the difference in height. Okay, and they're both one liter. Here's what blows my mind. So here here's the Leclerc. Why would the very first version of a Vision saucepan that's not called Visions yet, it's just called France, why would that be bigger than the first version? It, uh, really? That doesn't make any sense to me. This Leclerc is the same size as the spouted one but without the spout. Same diameter, same height, just doesn't have a spout. So you would think that this would be the first, this would be the second, but it isn't. You know, this was a later version. This, oh, this is the first version of the one liter and it's tiny compared to these two. Okay. Silly stuff. Let's finish off the wine. Cheers, it's Saturday. Oh, hey! This I've had for quite a while. I used to collect steak knives and kitchen knives. I'm not sure if you've heard about Laguiole steak knives. They tend to be rather pricey. I think I paid $29 for these. I think they originally sold for 69 so it's not like they're... Some of these can sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They're stainless steel, Laguiole Champagne. <laughs> Campag... Campaign. Campaign. C-A-M-P-A-G-N-E. Campagne. Sometimes you get Laguiole knives, the stainless steel ones, they've got rivets in them. And they're very... they're like hollow. And I don't think these are solid, but they're, they're very heavy. They're very weighty and they're very pretty. And I loved them. Show and tell. That's it. Just wanted to say hello this Saturday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You know what I'm going to say? I already said it. I did, I already said it.